What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kurt Nugent, and we're back with another installment in How It All Works Academy Ecamm Edition. And today we're looking at interview mode. You've been waiting for this one, I know. Uh, let's take a look on the desktop at some of our preferences. So here we are in live demo mode, actually. And we're just gonna go up to the wheel here, click the wheel, and then we're gonna go to interview. And here, <clears throat> You can see we can we're going to play a ring when somebody comes in. Uh, you can set it to auto answer guests. I'm not certain that you want to do that. Uh, you send guests to green room. Interview guests will be in green room muted until they are added to the broadcast. This is an option you might want to look into. Um, turn off audio processing for guests. This is a musician thing, right? If you have pro audio, you might want to turn this off. It's 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 a, yeah, something you definitely want to look into, depending on what you got going on for your live show. Uh, guest web interface will be defaulted to dark. Um, guest web interface will display comments and viewer count. That is something you want to make a decision on. So for some guests, it's a little demoralizing to see that there are like two people watching. So you want might want to make that decision um, here. Lower music and movie sound for guests when in off air audio mode. And I talked to you about off air audio mode before. Uh, but yes, that's a good thing. You might want to just lower that audio <laughs> when you're when, so like if you're doing a countdown clock, both of your mics are muted, um, you're live, you might want to have this thing selected so that when the countdown clock music is playing for your audience, you and your guests can still talk backstage. Guests view broadcast. And so what that means is that in the when the guests are in interview mode, they'll be able to see what's happening in the broadcast, which is really good. So all of these things are the options and preferences, I should say, for interview mode. Now that we've gone over that part, we want to take a look at actually inviting someone to the show. Here is interview mode. Um, see, I guess window. If I wasn't in live demo mode, you would see a link here at the bottom that is for joining my stream. And I don't want to show that to you, which is why I'm using live demo mode to record this. Uh, want to guard your link. You don't want to just share that with any and everybody because they can just join your show. <laughs> they can just call in. So want to make sure you guard your link. But you would copy that link and you would send it to a guest. And then when they click the link, let me show you what they will see. So here is actually what your guest will see. They will come into the system like this. Uh, they, they would have clicked the link. They, they'll be able to select their camera. They'll be able to select their microphone. They'll be able to change their name. And then they'll click join. So let's click join. Now they're waiting to be let into the system. So let's go back to live demo mode and see what this looks like on the other side. So you see here in the bottom that that guest is calling into the system. So what we want to do is answer it. And then you'll see that that guest uh, screen comes up on the bottom here which is pretty good. Now let's go back over to the interview mode to see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like for the guest. The guest can see what's happening in the program. They can see the, a picture of their camera. Um, they can actually swap. They can swap between program and their own camera. They can hit the wheel here to change the camera they have selected. They can change the mic they have selected. They can mute themselves. They can share a screen and they can hang up and they to leave. Uh, they also have the ability to see comments, but because I'm not live right now, there are no comments to see. But under normal circumstances, you would have a button right up here to the side where you would have to be able to pull out to have comments, uh, to see the live comments that are coming in from wherever you are streaming to. So this is what the guest scene looks like, and the guest does have the ability to change that screen to uh, white if they wanted to. So you could change that from light to dark. Um, and for, for that's a really cool feature that Ecamm has added because white actually changes the white balance um, for your camera. So having it at dark really kind of keeps everything exactly how you set it when you came into your system. So now let's go back to uh, Ecamm to see what else we can do with this guest that's in interview mode.
So here we are. We are back in live demo mode and we've got our guest on the bottom down here. And we, uh, sim we have several things that we can do with this guest. We can click to assign the guest. We can assign them to guest one. Um, that brings the guest out of the green room. And we can, if we have any scenes where we have designed to have a guest one, we will see though that guest in those in that in those places. So if I go to uh, the scenes we designed earlier and go to host plus guest, you'll see, boom, that guest is in those places. If we go to the other scene, you'll see the guest one is in those places. So that is pretty good, exactly where we want them to be. So. Uh, but we can also come and, and look at some of the other options that are here for this guest. Of course, we can hit the X to kick them out. Um, we can mute them in, or, or unmute them. I have that guest muted on the interview mode side because I don't want you to hear an echo. And we have these other three options here as well. We can add to the right, right? We can add to the right, which is which is great. And then you can um, you can flip that. You can flip it so where it's added to the left instead of added to the right. Or you can hit the solo button to make that person solo. And you can actually hit the solo button on your camera uh, as the host to go back to that as well. So you have those options here. But you can also do those same options in your your scene where you are set up as a camera scene. In a camera scene, you can actually just hit the plus sign. Here's guest one right here. I can hit the plus sign and that adds them right in. Um, I can also do uh, the picture in picture scenario, right? Where you see that the, the guest is here. And again, um, we have that cycle button where we can cycle through and have the guest be uh, the full screen and have the host be uh, in the picture in picture spot. So we have that option as well. We can also uh, take the picture in picture off, which brings it back to the normal view that we had before. But we then and then we can set it so that it's not cropped. So we can actually take off the crop, crop split screen. So now we're seeing the the guests on 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 the side, but they're full screen, as in we're seeing their full picture, full full camera. Uh, so these are some of the things that you can do with interview mode. You have the ability to, to take their sound down and up. You can mute them in levels. You mute all of the guests if you have multiple, but you can mute individual guests here. Um, one last thing I want to show you for the guest is uh, if we take the guest and just, you know, make them full screen, I'm going to actually uh, uh, remove them from the screen right now, right? And just click on the guest to take the guest cameras full screen. You'll notice here in camera effects that we can hit the drop down and go to guest one and we can do all the same things that we were doing with get with our own camera with the guest camera. So you can take your guest, you can put a green screen on them. You can take your guest, you can hit the zoom and pan and zoom in on your guests video. You can take your guests and adjust their brightness, saturation, temperature, tint, gamma. You can take your guests, you can mirror their, their, their video, you can send, make them black and white. Everything, all the camera effects that you have for your own camera, you also have for your guest. And that is really, really cool. So there you have it. <laughs> all of the different things that you can do in interview mode with your guests in Ecamm. And I'm hoping that you saw, you know, different things that you can add into your production, right? I'm hoping that you you kind of have that light bulb going on. We're nearing the end of this series, and I'm hoping that we have given you enough that will allow you to really sink your teeth into this platform. Very, very powerful platform. So many different function features, options that they give us. And it is, you can tell it's hard for me to actually get through all of them in a short amount of time in a video. In tomorrow's video, we are finally going to go live. We're going to look at managing comments. We're going to be looking at uh, record only. We're going to be looking at live demo mode, which you've seen multiple times. Um, then we're also going to you know, kind of figure out this whole program preview thing. So make sure you come back tomorrow for that. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.